My content is intended for adult collectors of the product, not made for kids. Hello everyone! For this video, before we actually continue, I want to give a huge shout out to BBA Blade Breaker. They have 54 subs out of the time of this recording. Let's see if we can get them past 200 subscribers because they helped us out in getting Vanish Fafnir, so please subscribe to them and show them some love. Now with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, and, and links to their socials in the description. Now that being said, it is time we take a look at the dreaded Hasbro Fafnir. I have been so excited to, uh, you want to know why I've been excited for this review is that I know it's garbage, but the thing is I've been waiting so long for it. This has been the last thing for wave one that we need that finally your boy's got his hands on it. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it, you know, like the members of the Bay team, you know, trying to sell you the product. No, these are the honest thoughts in the review. So. Yeah, I have to compliment the, the box art or whatever. Oh, look at the box art. Oh, that's where all the budget went. So, this Fafnir is, is, is... There's a lot to talk about. Oh, actually, you want to buy the... Uh, download the app and QR is at the end. Yeah, so if you want to see the back and the stats, you can. So to start off, because this Fafnir, we are tearing into this thing, because this thing is holy crud. This thing's a disappointment. I have set such a low bar for this Fafnir. Originally, I set such a low bar, right? And they somehow have exceeded. Is it even exceeding my expectations? De Deceded? They, they, I had the lowest bar for them. You know that meme where our bars, my, our, <laughs> our bars were low, but oh my god. <laughs> Dude, they, I don't know how they screwed it up. So let's go over to the core, which is Fafnir. Now, they did this to themselves. So basically the core itself is just this like transparent orange. They should have just done clear, right? It would have made more sense if they did clear. Instead you see this, there's no detail, there's no, and I keep on saying this, there's no paint. And here's the funniest part after all this time. It's that the bays are garbage and they get worse and worse and Hasbro can't even paint the bays. They don't want to spend that extra penny to paint the bays. So it, it just looks so awful, so awful. You can't make out any of the shapes. The hole on the chip looks disgusting. It, it looks bad. Now, of course, you're gonna be asking me, what about how good are the slopes? Now, listen, I have said the slopes are kind of like Bellfire, which I still stand by that. They're kind of like Bellfire, not exactly. And Bellfire is kind of like Dragon, but the entirety of Quad Drive has had garbage slopes. Poor burst resistance, poor. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the next part, which, oh my god, this really pisses me off. Okay, vanish. The eyes aren't even painted on the thing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna even, I know what the Hasbro, oh, you're gonna compare it to Takara. Listen, if freaking Mirage, they could put the goddamn rubber on it, what is the excuse for vanish, for vanish Hasbro? This entire thing is plastic. What's going on? What is going on? And you have these people, these apologists that defend. If the core gimmick of Fafnir is the rubber, is this little shock absorption thing, and this thing is plastic, this is absolutely garbage choices by Hasbro. It's absolutely garbage, it's inexcusable, and I am tired of these people making excuses, these Hasbro apologists are making excuses, or, or the B team makes like some random like poor defense. Just call it bad, tell people not to buy it, because they shouldn't. Spend your money however you want to spend it, but the reason why I say don't buy Hasbro stuff is because it goes in, the money goes into them, and then after they're going to keep this going. I do the investors. review. The goes to the investors, whatever. When we do these videos, this is to tell you, the consumer, to avoid it. So that's why I don't understand when these morons are like, oh, oh, but you bought it to do the review. Yeah. Listen, I am delivering the message. This is bad. Do you want to know why this is so bad? Not only do you lose the shock absorption that it has, obviously this has a similar shape, so I'm sure equalization will be the same. The issue is that the defense is going to be poor, and I've even seen the same spin is really bad. The same spin is really bad, but not to mention, since the thing is not rubber, and this is plastic, this is going to be very easy to snap off and break. 
And it's like the fact that we have a plastic Fafnir when the gimmick should be rubber, it's like you should only think of that if it's like a counterfeit product. And it's like, come on Hasbro, what the hell are you doing? So now that I have teared into this thing, justifiably, right? Because this is garbage quality. If you're upset, cry about it, because I don't care. I'm calling out the brand when it should be. The armor is plastic. Wow, it's like, the, it's like these core gimmicks that get stripped away from the base. And you can enjoy the base, and I'm not saying you can't enjoy it. If you enjoy the base, you enjoy the base, God bless you for it. The whole point is just criticizing all these bad choices done, because it affects the base, it's bad, they shouldn't have been doing it. Now, we actually have positive in the video. This is surprising. This is going to really make the Hasbro fans uh, pissed off who are watching the video, because they just teared into the base in its living soul. There are some redeemable parts not in general, just for Hasbro only, which is Tapered QD. Now Tapered QD to the original Tapered handled better than others. It's still hollowed out, which is the same issue as before, but you can see the inner parts here are kind of gone. But it's like an acceptable-ish weight and it's kind of comparable to like 10 wall, 0 wall, 00 wall. It's not perfect, you can kind of just use it for some opposite spin stuff but it can kind of work. Uh, the next part actually is negative and positive because I, it is a slimy tactic that they did and I think it's BS that they did it. So this is what the performance tip is. This is the kick attachment, whatever. So before I even go into how good it is, which we'll get to that in a second, I hate this tactic so much. If you wanna buy, if the issue is this is not even the right color, then what they did is that they, they forcefully did this and, they're not forcing you to do it, but it's stupid because basically Destruction Eye Fritter, right, has the proper color for the kick attachment. So they're making you buy another bay on purpose, on purpose, if you want to get the accurate color kick on purpose, so you instead get this blue nut, like just put this on, put that on the two pack and put the original, you see what I mean? It's like, it's so much of these things that I'm just, I'm done with. I'm done with the excuses. I'm done with all this stuff. Now, the actual kick is an improvement over to Keratomi. It's not because they removed the little spring in it. They still could have kept that. The reason why is the general shape of this on the bottom is modified. So it's wider and generally, I would say, has better stamina, same and opposite spin. So they did do a very good job with the kick attachment that I have done testings for. So there are times when they do modifications and it's a good thing. The issue is, is that if most of what they do and they modify is garbage, then after the positives really start to like, they, they don't really get brought up because it's so minimal in the grand scheme of things. The actual base of the tip, which is, uh, what is this, Extend Plus, is very poor, and I don't like the quad drive system gimmick. This is essentially, basically, I guess, technically like Extend Plus attack mode, but it's really just Zephyr. The spring on it's not the best. I would still say Assault has the best spring. And there you go. I've been very fair with talking about this. I have not only shown the original Takara told me, but I've even shown by their own goddamn standards how they should have done it right. So I have been very fair in this review. I have been very fair. Just because I'm not sucking up the product and I'm not saying, oh wow, actually I think it's as good as Switch Strike. Like I'm not doing that. I'm giving the honest opinion in the review because that's what I think the viewers deserve. I don't think uh, I should be just giving this advertisement just so I can stay on Hasbro's good side so they can send another, another package or whatever. So now that we have the actual parts and everything, this has been my angriest review because I've been waiting on this base so long. So it is about 4.13, I think it should weigh probably a little bit, okay, never mind, 6.84. Okay, we're gonna see this. So this weighs 12.69 nice grams versus 7.32 grams. Look at what we shaved off. And here's the funny part, is if you look at it, they could have filled this in. They could have filled this in. They could have filled these hollowed out sections in, but they don't, and I don't know why. Other than just like laziness. It's not even laziness, just cheapness. That's the thing, 1.55 uh, and then after, 13.15. TT. Oh, this is even the lightest one. Why am I being so nice in the review? Oh my God, let me get the heavier one. That is my lightest TP. So that means that was my prominent Phoenix TP. Hold on. Okay, let me get the, yeah, typically TP, 
Oh wow, dude, I'm being so nice right now. Dude, it's the lightest TPs that I actually have right now. Dude, TP is typically like, it's about 29 grams on average. Some of the other TPs that they release for some reason are just really weirdly light. So right now we're giving like super benefits right now uh, for the, I don't even have another TP that I can, ah, who cares? Whatever, you get the idea. All right, how much is Hasbro? And Hasbro should be like about, yeah, 26.2. Obviously, you know, it still should still be a little bit more, but you know, we, we, we take what we can get. We take our small wins when we can. And then after that, uh, the attachment, 3.51. And then after the actual thing, 5.59. And then after all together, 9.10. And then after just kick by itself, the final weight is 48.33 uh, versus like 71.09, and I'll put the normal uh, kick in a second. But if we take a look, after the X, after I gotta get high mode. The orientation on this thing is really annoying me because I can never get it right now. Alrighty, side by side. Can you imagine a few years ago when we were at Switch Strike, if you told me that this was actually a uh, Hasbro to TT, I would be like, you're joking. There's no way, that's not a real product. You know, they even did like, just like the paint and everything is just off. Okay, let's get this. Oh, first of all, let me get uh, the proper kick. I wanna see, yeah, cause what well, we don't need technically, we need a, like an orange assault. We need an orange assault, cause I'm not using that extend plus Q, cause no one cares about that. Yeah, of course it looks better when it has that, but for the review, I have to use the actual one. Okay, we got to put this now in its uh, super quad mode. Okay, there you go. It's had the freaking life sucked away from it. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, and I got to take off the attachment. I even liked it. I even liked the... I don't know, but it's just like, I under, the gimmick and concept sounds really cool, but when you think of the execution, it's like, hey, they could have just done the tips normal or something. And then after, like this. All right, we're gonna do some battles with this, see what happens, but before I do that, we're gonna compare this to the previous evolution, so I think uh, there's a term I wanna use that starts with the letter F that I can't really use, but Hafnir has been... You know, I can't use that, we'll, we'll alternate. Yeah, I think Fafnir over the years has been like, dude, the original drain was like sick and then after they screwed it with Geist and like Geist, yeah, whatever, Absorb, Absorb was good. Lair was garbage because they had to screw it up and no rubber, then after Wizard was the same and then after, you know, Mirage, whatever, say what you want, at least they put the rubber, then they don't put the rubber on that one. Like, listen, did we have to, I don't think we had to get that many Mirage. If I, if you told me what was gonna happen to Vanus, I would say, Listen, we don't need that many Mirage recolors. So sad. Anyways, we're gonna get this on the stadium and do some battles. Okay, we got the stadium set up. So it's the, it's the, oh, it's the fun test launch. Okay, this is, uh, I can't tell if I have the right orientation. No, I think I have the right. Okay, three, two, one, rip. I am balanced, literally just attack. Whatever. Oh yeah, let's just throw in a battle with it. Uh, I'm trying to think. We're gonna throw it up against Cyclone. Hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> the Cyclone, no attachment against Spanish. Yeah, this is the only battle I want to actually do with uh, the, the, the the Zephyr thing. Like, so pointless just to... Okay, we're gonna give the attachment now to the thing. So this is with the armor tip actually on. So now we get to see how good is it gonna be. I'm actually curious now of something, I wonder. Okay, before we get, okay, I wanna, 
I want to try something. So does this work? It better not. It better not work. Okay, I don't. I can't slow mo burst it. All right. Oh god damn it! Oh my god! It got it. It, it got it. Lost the magma. Okay. Okay. Now, now, I, now I know I'm in hell. There's no way this thing lost the magma slow mo burst. <laughs> so sad. I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, the reverse can happen, obviously. But it, it's like, come on, it's magma. It's magma. Just God help us. So now it's a weak launch Fafnir against a uh, hard launch Cyclone. And again, I cannot stress how much I prefer the kick attachment on. I think if you want to do any effective equalization, it has to be with that kick attachment on there. I'm really just still upset over the fact that it lost to magma because of a burst. Oh my god. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. What did they what did they do? What did they do to like one of my favorite releases? Okay, we're gonna do destruction. After that I'm just throwing it in high mode, I don't care. I'm just like so taken I'm really dude, I'm just taken aback by this. Okay, it did that. Okay, so now we're gonna do a high mode battle. And also I guess I have, I'll do it without the attachment, so I do all of it, so no one says, oh you didn't do all of it. Uh so obviously equalization uh, should be okay. Should be okay. The thing is, is that I'm about to just so I'm not wasting time. High mode. They have like the name like Corn Apex. I don't listen. I don't care. So, hey, let them let them do whatever they want. Let them let them do what they got to do. I guess. Okay, we're gonna cut to a bonus round. All right, now we're gonna do one battle against Takara. Five, four, three, two, one. I think it's fair. Oh, you suck, you suck, oh my God, this is amazing. Did they burst the Tommy? No, actually Hasbro burst, cause they, they only develop garbage there. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Wow, I'm gonna... One more, come on, let's. Oh my god, the Hasbro versus Takara is gonna be amazing for this. Look at it, it's it just self-destructs. That's so beautiful. Oh my god. They're so considerate. They just they thought instead of giving it a chance, instead of giving it a fighting chance, just make it garbage already from the start. And then after it just dies that much easier. No, come on, we gotta try. We gotta try the the a, the apex predator mode, whatever it's called. The the craven the hunter mode. <laughs> I don't know the name. I don't care about the name. Okay, now it's high mode. Five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty. Moving on. All right, now to give uh, a little bit more perspective, this is Drain Fafnir Hasbro Tapered uh, Extend Plus Q Kick, and this is stock. So what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you how backwards this bay is. This is against Drain Fafnir. We're gonna do three rounds. This is a mirror. In the first round, 
is already a burst. I'm gonna really show it to you why these bays are evolving backwards. So you believe me. So you believe me. This is a mirror match stock combo, right? It's already lost by burst and it's probably gonna lose again. This thing has really bad stamina because of the holes on there and because it's hollowed out a lot. This is, this is the reality. This is the reality. And this is actually what a lot of bay tubers don't show. Actual testing with the bays to really see. Sometimes I do it in the video. If not, you see me do a video later on. Yeah, let's see. Come on. And maybe it lasts till the end. Let's hope it lasts till the end because that burst was dissatisfying. Okay, that was an outspin. We're gonna keep it going so you can get the idea. Dude, it's just, I'm so upset at the fact that this is actually happening to where it's like a layer from a long time ago and it's beating it. And yeah, there are a lot of factors that go into it, like, you know, layers and everything how the bays are handled, the slopes and everything. But you, do you see how much this is bursting? I can't even get, you know what's the ironic part is that I'm just trying to show this thing getting a west, but I can't even do that. So now, I have, now what I'm forced to do is I now have to actually give this thing. Okay, to extend this further now, now they both have assault and they both have the kick attachment. So now it's even more fair to the both of them. It's like really fair right now. So now we're gonna just see pure stamina. Maybe it pulls it off, maybe it doesn't. Because if you're gonna notice, drain's a lot more stable. Look at this. Wow. And what, look at that. So easily OS and people don't believe me when I tell them that these bays evolve backwards. It should not happen that a layer from so many years ago that I can just do this mirrored combo against the newest release. That time they were standard. Yeah, they had a standard for this. Look at this, the, the freaking thing has no stamina on it. What is this? I said it before, poor same spin. It is pathetic, pathetic. This is sad. This is really, really sad. Now, I'm gonna take it a step further I'm gonna take it a step further. We're gonna give this a normal driver, Absorb, which is a good driver, which is a good driver. And just to really drive the point home, really drive the point home in this review, because this is a long ass review. It's a long review. I'm going to show you why same spin, uh, def same spin, I guess, what would you, what would you say? So this would be same spin stamina against attack. So it'd be seeing the defense. This is against Nightmare. We're gonna see how long it takes for Nightmare to win. Maybe, maybe, maybe Nightmare loses. Oh no, what a surprise. Okay. I think I've driven the point home. I've done enough overkill in this review. I can do other videos covering this stuff. My final thoughts on this is that even if tapered for Hasbro has the potential, even if the kick attachment can work, you might as well just get the assault plus kick on the destruction two pack. You can just get tapered on something else. You don't even really need tapered to be honest because the cutie discs are not that special. I'm giving this a two out of 10. Stay away, two out of 10. Can you negative? Negative two out of 10. So we're gonna show the QR code, right? There you go. I was super, super fair in the review and I actually showed you to Hasbro standards that this does not hold up, but you know what does hold up? This sale on Mala Bays, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, Mala Bays sale 20% off on any B193 Valkyrie or Valkyrie combo. And we sell the real Fafnir, the legit TT Fafnir, that sale is for limited time. This is it for my review. I have gone in. I have destroyed this Fafnir's career. Let's hope that Hasbro can learn. I can already tell I have made a lot of enemies with this video and I welcome them to like and subscribe to the channel as I do with everyone. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.